Hey there everyone, welcome to Technoholic. In this video, we will talk about how we can install the latest version of Microsoft Windows 11 inside your macOS. We will talk about all completely free legit method. For that, we're going to use a VMware Fusion tool instead of Parallel, which generally comes with a cost. So without further ado, let's get started. Before we go further, please consider subscribing to this channel as we keep on bringing these kinds of tutorial that's going to help you out in day-to-day -day life. Now let's come back to our topic, which is how we can get Microsoft Windows 11 installed in Apple Silicon using free software. For that, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to type download VMware Fusion. And here we go. Here we can see this is the link where we need to click. So this is sponsored. And if you click here, you know, parallels will show how the VMware Fusion compare with it. And I would say it is an exaggerated comparison as Fusion is also now available for Intel M1 chip. So this comparison is very old, I would say. Now, let me quickly click on cross and then let's go here and download VMware Fusion. And now here we can see this link says try VMware Fusion Pro for Mac with Intel or Silicon chip. Now, since as we discussed that we would like to go with free version, so we will click here on Fusion 13 player for Mac OS 12 plus. So let me click here on register for a personal use license. This will open this page and then here we need to create an account if we do not have any. If we have, we can click on I have an account and then we can sign in. But I am also installing it for first time. Therefore, I would like to create an account for that. I'm going to click here on create an account. And now we need to enter the following information. The first one is my email address. Then you can put your password. Then here you can provide other detail. Here you need to select your country. And then here we need to agree to the terms and condition and going to click on register. After that, we need to activate our profile for that. You will be receiving an email in your Gmail account. Now check your email and enter the code. So I'm going to do the same. And in this way, guys, we have successfully created and activated our account. Now we are here again at VMware Fusion Player personal use license. Now let me click here on I have an account. Now use the same credential with whom you did sign up. Now here you will find your license key. Simply click on manually download. Now this will start downloading your VMware player. And we already have license also available. Double click on this icon to install VMware Fusion. Click on open. Now you need to enter your credential. Now click on agree and here we need to enter our license key. So just copy your license key from VMware website and paste it here. Now click on continue. And that's how we have successfully installed VMware Fusion 13 in our machine toast.
now click here on allow go to system setting and here in accessibility we need to provide some additional access to vmware fusion just click on this checkbox and then enter your password and this will provide necessary permission for vmware to perform optimally now here you can see the vmware fusion automatically started and giving us these three options the easiest one out of this i would say is this one which says get windows from microsoft just click on that and then click on continue now again we need to click on continue and then from here you need to select the window that you want to install and then click on download window the vmware fusion will itself download the complete windows 11 and you do not need to worry about making things super easy i would say this was the biggest hassle now got resolved so it is as easy as parallels the only little more time consuming i would say is your registration process everything else i would say is super smooth and as we witness we got vmware fusion legit from its official site for completely free which for sure going to give you enormous value when we compare it to parallel although i would say parallel have its own advantage but here you are getting parallel like feature for free so let's wait for this windows 11 to get downloaded okay so now here we can see we have successfully downloaded windows 11 and this continue button is now enabled let's click on that and now here we're going to select uefi and then click continue now i would say keep this setting as it is and in case of password here you can put your machine password that you want to provide and then click continue now here you need to create virtual disk let's keep all these settings as it is and click on continue now click on finish and i'm gonna click on save and there we go here we need to press any button so that the system can boot and now here it is asking us to select language so let's keep it as it is click on next and click on install now now i'm gonna make this one as full screen so here it is asking us to provide product key if you have you can put it i do not have as of now so i'm gonna click on i don't have product key and then from here i'm going to select the appropriate operating system that i would like to install then click on terms and condition click on custom and click on next and now the windows will install automatically so let's wait for a while till the windows get installed okay so now we can see we have almost installed microsoft windows 11 now we need to just configure it based on my need so here select your country my country is india let me select that then here which is right keyboard for you you can go with your preferred one then if you want to add second keyboard layout then you can do that as well i'm gonna click on skip and let me tell you one thing which makes this window so special is this windows is made for arm based silicon which i would say would be very interesting to see how it perform now here we need to select for what purpose we're going to use this system i'm going to use it for personal use now let me click next then here we can actually sign in using our microsoft account if you have so i do have let me quickly sign in now you also have an option to restore your system from another location but here i would like to set this up as new pc so i'm gonna click on more option and then i'm gonna click on setup as a new pc now here we will be creating our pin so let me quickly create my pin here then let me click ok 
and click on next accept and then here we can actually define how we want to use this so i would like to use this as for development for taking notes and for creativity and let's click on accept then we need to click here on skip and then click on accept finally here we can see we have successfully installed microsoft windows 11 in machintos that is powered by apple silicon now we need to tweak this installation to improve looks and performance of this installation for that you need to go to virtual machine and click on vmware tool and click on install so this will basically improve mouse movement as well as improve graphics performance so we are about to install it now it is mounted in my computer so let me click here on home this pc and here we go here we can see this is vmware tools now click on installer run click on yes and this will basically install vmware tool inside windows i'm gonna click on typical and then click on next and install it and there we go we can already see its effect in microsoft windows now our windows is utilizing the complete screen and here we also may need to restart our system such that the vmware tools can be implemented properly now click on yes so this will basically restart our virtual machine and there we go let me enter my pin and in this way guys we have successfully installed the latest microsoft windows 11 in apple m2 chip so if i go here in system and down about here we can see the processor is apple and the system type is arm based processor now we can actually tweak further the system performance for that let me actually close this machine and then I will increase the amount of RAM that we have allocated for this virtual machine. So let me again go to this VMware. And here, let's click on virtual machine and go to settings. Here, go to processor and memory. Okay, so in order to make change here, we may need to shut down our machine. So let's actually shut down this machine. For that, let's click on menu and then click on shutdown and now again let's go to virtual machine settings and now processor and memory let's make it 8 gigabyte so it actually totally depend on the amount of memory that your system have so my machine those here have 16 gigabyte of memory i would like to give 8 gigabyte to this machine so 8 gigabyte is 8192 so let me type here manually 8192 and in terms of processor i'm gonna allocate four number of processor now let me close this again go to virtual machine in network adapter let's choose bridged now let's again reboot this by clicking on this play button now reboot this again by clicking on this play button and there we go we have successfully rebooted it and now let's have a look on amount of ram this system have which is 8 gigabyte and let's also check device manager 
to see number of processor available here and here we can again see the number of processor we have specified which is 4. So that's all guys from my side in this video. I hope that you find this video helpful and informational. If yes, then do like and subscribe to this channel for more such content. And I will see you soon in my next video. Till then, you take care and bye-bye.